I can't quite make up my mind about The Tall Guy. This film was released in 1989, directed by Mel Smith and written by Richard Curtis and stars Jeff Goldblum, Rowan Atkinson and Emma Thompson. So we have a very strong crew, a very strong cast. It's got 6.2 out of 10 on IMDb across 4,300 reviews, which is pretty respectable. But I feel like I'm kind of on the fence because there are things about it that I liked, namely Emma Thompson. And there were some things about it that I just thought was really flat and not that exciting. So I'll read the description from IMDb. Um, This says, Dexter King plays straight man to unpleasant comedian Ron, Ron Anderson. He falls in love with Kate, a pretty nurse he meets when he is receiving injections for hay fever. When Anderson fires him, he acquires the title role in a musical stage version of The Elephant Man. Kate dumps him when she suspects he is having an affair with a fellow cast member, and he must win her back. So it's pretty interesting. The fact that Dexter meets... Dexter, played by Jeff Goldblum, meets Kate, played by Emma Thompson, when she is injecting him with uh, hay fever injections, is pretty interesting. I kind of like that little scenario. I think it works quite well. We get to see their their relationship, their romance blooming. There's a rather funny scene, not that I want to spoil anything, but there's a funny scene when Emma Thompson rolls basically naked into a bowl of either Cocoa Pops or Rice Krispies. I can't remember, but I particularly thought that was entertaining. I'm not that bothered about Ron Anderson, played by Ron Atkinson, as a character. I mean, obviously he's described here as an unpleasant comedian, so he's not meant to be liked but I don't know, I just wasn't taken with that character particularly, but I don't think there's anything specific, really. The fact that Dexter is in a musical version of The Elephant Man, for me, is really interesting, because I I love The Elephant Man as a story. I find it really fascinating. I'm very interested in the life of John Merrick and kind of how how his story came about to being told. So that was pretty unique. But once you kind of get over that novelty of Emma Thompson rolling into a bowl of cereal and there being a musical stage version of The Elephant Man, it kind of loses a little bit of its spark. So there are bits of it that are good. There are bits of it that are okay. There are no real bits that are bad. It's obviously not badly acted. I don't think any of the shots were bad. The lighting is fine. The costumes are fine when they're on. There's nothing about it that I particularly can pinpoint as not liking. There are just aspects of it that I think were a bit mediocre and underdone and very cliche and predictable. And that's against the backdrop of the the unique meeting and the involvement of the play. So it's kind of a film of two halves. Would I recommend it? I'd say give it a go because it might be your kind of film and certainly with a cast and crew like it has, it's definitely got potential. There's a lot of quality going into the production of this. Whether or not you think the outcome is up to scratch, I'd be really interested to know. But I'd say give it a go if you're interested. It's not it's not so on the fence that I wouldn't recommend it. I would. It's just not the best in the world and didn't live up to some of my expectations. But when it was good, it was really good. If you've seen The Tall Guy, let me know what you think of it. If you haven't seen it, I'd say it's worth checking out, but maybe just don't put it to the top of your watch list just yet.